Albert at Chicago Music Exchange, and I am joined by Mike Larson uh, of our vintage buying department, and uh, one of my favorite basses. Thank you. Bassists. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Um, and one of my favorite basses as well. So yeah, I, I know you've been asking me quite a bit, when are we going to get the short scale Castadosa bass? And yeah, man. it is finally here. You can stop asking until <laughs> the next one yeah. happens. Dude, yeah, the first time I saw him post a picture of one of these on Instagram, I think I immediately sent it to you. And uh, here it is, man. It's, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I and I know on. you really love short scale basses what do you typically look for in a in a shorter scale bass like what what uh what I, really gets you going about I, something like this yeah i mean honestly it's kind of it's not really all that different from anything i would look for in any bass i immediately like vibe with the neck the neck is nice and big but not like oversized or mm -hmm. anything like that I love the pickup choice. Yeah, yeah, um, the Novax are... Yeah, this is one of my favorite pickups in general. Yeah, But yeah. the pair with this guy is kind of like into like EB3 territory or like yeah. EB2D territory where you get that brightness up by the bridge and it's just, it's really cool. Um, I could see this bass being really good with flats or rounds. With, it's got rounds on it now. And it's, I, I dig the like very harmony-esque red sparkle red burst kind of thing yeah yeah i love that well color. you were saying somebody saw it on the wall and they thought it was yeah. a harmony. they thought it was an old harmony yeah yeah, yeah. and then yeah. it's like look a little closer I mean, it definitely has that vintage <laughs> short scale vibe in that world you know it reminds me of like the neck kind of reminds me of some older like supros that we've had or or that k base that yeah the yeah. fleet foxes base yeah not quite as deep as that one was but That's yeah huge. i mean it's it's definitely you know, it's a, it's a, it's a neck. It's there. I think you nailed it, and all, all of the points that you made are perfect. Yeah. They're definitely what I, what I like most about these as sure. well. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, the, just like the sum of its parts, it's a phenomenal instrument. These bridges look solid as hell. Yeah. Brass saddles, I'm sure, are great. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a little thing, but I love the diagonal cut on the yeah. end of the fretboard. Yeah. It doesn't matter for anything, but it looks cool, and I like it because it's different. Yeah. And also the the like rounded edge block inlays. It's just like it's it's the vibe of a lot of different like kind of six late fifties, early sixties era short scales without being exactly like any of them. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the best of everything pulled together into one base. Absolutely, that's cool. That's a great way to look at it yeah. for sure. We've been waiting a really long time to do this. We we actually already um, shot some content with Jonathan Hitchke of the mm -hmm. band Cigar. Um, he's a he's buddies with Carlos and got one of the first uh, Contras short scale bases that nice. they made. Lucky so guy. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he actually sat down with Nathaniel and um, they were chatting a bit about it. And oh, we'll cool. uh, we'll obviously roll some of that footage. Sick.
Is that alright? Yeah. Wow, wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> God, you're amazing. Oh, I don't, I don't know about so that. So no. beautiful. Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. I'm joined by Jonathan Hishke. How's it going? It's great, man. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. So you give me like a little impromptu bass lesson, <laughs> which I wish everyone could have seen, but that's just for us. So I'm going to work on my, uh, my bass technique. So thank you very much for that. My thank pleasure, you. man. Now, I'm going to hit you up for something well, at some point. Then. <laughs> Please, by all means. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Now, you have a gorgeous uh, Castadosa bass guitar. I do. And uh, we're no strangers here to Carlos Lopez and the family and his amazing instruments. So, I mean, just tell me, what, what, what have you got here? Well, this is a short scale, conscious bass. Uh, it's alder, uh, ebony fretboard, a uh, roasted maple neck. Uh, I think these are just close on tuners, yeah. uh, hip shop bridge maybe, you know, but all the little, uh, oh, and uh, Curtis Novak pickups. Yeah and uh, all the, you know, little Carlosisms throughout, the yeah. little quality assurance yeah. touches. Of course. And um, this is his first one. This is the first bass he made, the first uh, Castadosa bass. It's the very first one. The very first one. Wow. Yeah, I think there's five out there in the world at this point. Yeah. And I've touched three of them. Yeah. So. And you've got number one. That's, that's, <laughs> and I've got the first one. And um, it's something that he was, threatening to do for a long time yeah. to, to, to move to, to a base yeah. model to figure something out and um, I'm proud and honored enough to uh, have had him to a show I was playing of a band he really liked that I was a part of and he came this was earlier this year yeah. uh, in January he came out and saw the show and afterwards got inspired and decided he, he that the base was the next priority for the him. next thing yeah because he wanted he wanted to put it in my hands I guess well, that was one of the reasons and um, so I couldn't be more proud to have inspired him to uh, to make this masterpiece yeah. well uh, so now you mentioned him going to one of your gigs how, how did the relationship begin like how did you first kind of get in contact with each other oh with Carlos um it's been years uh, maybe nine or ten years ago oh right. so quite a while then. yeah it was when he was working at the at the fender custom shop yeah, yeah and uh but he was also doing some tech work and repair work out of his home okay. in los angeles mm. and uh a producer i was working with had worked with him um had him do some setups and things on some guitars mm. and i needed some help with a with a sick and ailing bass. Yeah, yeah. And so he suggested Carlos, and I, I went over and we became fast friends, and he just kind of always took care of me. He always made sure, and a lot of pickles too, like a lot of like, Carlos, I, uh, my, my bass has exploded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you help me out? And he, yeah, bring it over. And so he was always really kind yeah. and cool about that. And then um, right, right, pretty close to, you know, Coming up on pandemic times, yeah. maybe in nineteen or so. Yeah. We uh, he we discussed doing something through the Fender Custom Shop, uh, something like collaborating on something. Yeah. And then you know the world all went haywire, and, oh, yeah, yeah. and it didn't happen. And then he start he left and he started his own company, and then we're finally kind of coming back around. Yeah. yeah to yeah. it with this. Yeah. So. Now, so obviously you mentioned that, that, that this kind of pickup configuration. I assume there's going to be different kind of pickup configurations in the future, maybe. I don't know. That's the thing. I asked him that. Yeah. I said, "Is are you going to try different things?" And he said, he said something along the lines of, "If someone asks, but I think he wants this to be the voice of his. That's, I don't think he's going to do a P bass right. right away or a jazz bass or anything like that. Yeah. I think he's going to push this 
this kind of template right this, here. This flavor, yeah. yeah, which is a really interesting one. I don't know if anyone, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure no one's used this combination of pickups before in yeah. a, in a commercially available instrument at least. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds wonderful. Obviously, I, I heard you playing during our mini lesson. Um, <laughs> well, let me show you. Let me show yeah. you. Let me show you the, these pickups. Yeah, because they're really an interesting combination. Um, this. Uh, the harmony. The, the harmony H22. I think Curtis is the only person who's ever tried to uh, to remake these things. Yeah. It's a very rare pickup on a rare bass in the first place. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, on the on the old harmony basses, they're up in this neck position up here. Mm. And when we were messing around, we found it worked really well in this jazz bass pickup kind of bridge position. Yeah. So that's with it soloed this this uh, mm -hmm. harmony. So you get that kind of. But what's interesting about it is, depending on where your finger position is. still have that kind of nose on the note yeah. but it's but you can get round but it always has that kind of glassy and then that's with the tone all the way up mm -hmm. and then this pickup is not as dynamic but it just has this very woolly kind of dense Then when you take both together, that's the sweet spot. When you get the best of both notes. So sensitive to your playing technique, yeah. you know, which is cool. But I mean, the, the versatility is... Yeah, it's off the charts. Is, exactly, yeah. I mean, it looks wonderful, it sounds wonderful. I mean, just, I mean, it's no surprise though, given yes. who made it. Yeah, you know? yeah, he does good work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've got a, I've got a baritone, I've got a conscious. Oh, you have uh, one of those too? And it just, it does not go out of tune, Yep. which I love, and it's the sounds that I can get out of it. Again, I always find that it makes me play differently. You know, as a guitar player coming to this, for me personally, it like brings out different, you know, kind of, sounds that I wouldn't get on a, a normal guitar. I've always said that. And uh, you know, I'm very lucky as well. Mine isn't number one, it's number 54, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, I mean, that's what's funny. Mine is actually number 119 as far as a Castadosa oh, instrument. Yes. Right, right, right. Fair but right. It, I guess in the neck pocket, he wrote that it's this is, the first this bass. Is the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much to Jonathan for coming in and filming with us. Thank you to Carlos for getting this here. Sorry, we've been yes, <laughs> dragging you, our feet a little bit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm so glad that it's here. And you can see it on the website or give us a call, uh, shoot us a chat on on. Where do you, wherever you chat, the internet? All of the ways you can talk to us, yeah. we, we would listen. Yeah, like and subscribe. And <laughs> like and reply. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think we nailed it. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm.